Jane Fonda, 85, was hit with fierce criticism online after linking the climate crisis to racism. The veteran Hollywood star appeared on a recent episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show to discuss social activism and the reason behind her involvement. She explained, For me, it was learning about the Vietnam War. And when I really understood what that was about, I couldn't not do anything except try to join the movement to stop it. Jane added, Well, you know, you can take anything, sexism, racism, misogyny, homophobia, whatever, the war. And if you really get into it, and study it and learn about it and the history of it and everything's connected. There'd be no climate crisis if it wasn't for racism, the actress concluded. However, Jane's comments were not well received by many viewers, who took to Twitter to blast her as Hanoi Jane. Author Juanita Broderick said, This Hanoi Jane freak has no clue. Everything is connected Jane Fonda links climate crisis to racism. Fox News host Dagan McDowell tweeted, Hanoi Jane is a disgrace to the United States of America, we would not be talking about her today if she was not born into an acting family. And I don't say that with humor, I say it with complete disdain and complete derision. Go away, Jane Fonda. Sick, Twitter user Jacob Air typed, Hanoi Jane Fonda is whining about the weather from a climate-controlled building. She got there by flying on a plane, driving in a car, staying in an air-conditioned hotel, drinking plastic bottled water, and going through armed security. She doesn't care about the climate. Jane has always been outspoken about her views on climate change as she made her views public by attending protests and events. The Grace and Frankie star began her involvement in 2019 after being inspired by activist Greta Thunberg, 19. Her main focus is to raise awareness and urge action on climate change. In September, Jane revealed she had been chemotherapy for non-Hodgkin lymphoma after receiving the devastating diagnosis. The legendary actress, whose cancer is now in remission, confirmed the news in a statement on Instagram. At the time, she bent, so, my dear friends, I have something personal I want to share. I've been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and have started chemo treatments. This is a very treatable cancer. 80% of people survive, so I feel very lucky. In September, Jane revealed she had been chemotherapy for non-Hodgkin lymphoma after receiving the devastating diagnosis. The legendary actress confirmed the news in a statement on Instagram. At the time, she bent, so, my dear friends, I have something personal I want to share. I've been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and have started chemo treatments. This is a very treatable cancer. 80% of people survive, so I feel very lucky.